Well, it's an honor to have you also come from Australia to do all this. the way from home. <laughs> well, you're sitting in Australia, and, and someone says, "Well, we we really love you to come do La Mancha." In oh, Washington. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we first talked about doing this role, you always sit there and you go, "Well, who's going to play Quixote?" You, you start just going through lists. You're like, "Oh." Oh well, he's probably busy, and you know he's he he'd be great. Oh, he'd be good, and you never think about certain people. And then you told me it was Anthony, and you know those people who don't know musical theater don't know how great Anthony's voice is. I mean, it's one of the great voices of musical theater. Um, is he blushing? I'm not looking. He's blushing. No, I can't. But see uh, <laughs> makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, when you said it was Anthony, I that's you asked the first question you asked is one of the things that brought you in. Getting to work with Anthony is just like, it's pretty great. It's interesting you, you talk about in voices and what have you. That, that the one thing for me is that um, I, I've learned that, you know, I, I was classically trained. I, I've learned that I have an instrument that can work. What I have discovered in the, um, the ensuing years of my life is that I love, I've always come from a lyric point of view, but I love the lyrics of this show and and for most characterizations I will attempt to let the character sing the songs rather than you know dialogue 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 and then oh you have this lovely mm. sound that's not that's not part of my uh, my philosophy and it hasn't been for many many years um, we did a, a Phantom of the Opera in Australia in 2007 and it was 17 years since the time that I performed the role and I agreed to do it and when we did it originally in 1991, we were kind of teaching Australia what the show was because it was very new. So we were, when we, when we sang Music of the Night, for instance, we were teaching them what Music of the Night was. And I sang it, it was very, very singly. Uh, What's that word? Singly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many S's in singly? <laughs> and uh, 76. <laughs> and um, by the time it came around again, I decided that it would be really more based on the character. So the character was doing the singing, and we had you know, what they call the money notes were there. But for me, it's much more interesting for uh, for the character to be doing the work. And so that's, you know, and in this show, this is a hard, harsh environment, um, and he is a hard, harsh character at points. Uh, so I just brought that up because I think that you know sometimes people think these songs are beautiful, the songs in the show are beautiful. And for me personally, it's it's nice to actually to push away all the sweetness sometimes and find the core. There's some something that happens, and I know the three of you know it when you have a, a kinesthetic, true co instant connection to a part. Mm -hmm. You can't always explain it, but you but there's a real thing there. And the three of you have come in in the last two weeks, having really thought about these characters a lot and having a, a real true connection. And do you feel that? Oh, out. absolutely. You know, there are, there's a softness, there's a hardness to this character. There's a, there's a vulnerability, obviously, to this character, but there's a there's a, a, a gravitas to him, and and I, I absolutely adore him as a as a person and what he stands for as 